Is your boss an asshole? Is your company run by a bunch of sociopathic narcissists? <sighs> well, welcome to another edition of HR Mailbag, <laughs> where I share the tragic work realities that are shared with me by my followers. Um, this one, gosh, the management team, nuts, right? Totally certifiable. Rude as hell. My God. Oh, I'm going to read it to you. Uh, but I wanted to share it because I found it actually pretty inspirational. Uh, so it's got a bit of a call to action at the end uh, that I hope resonates with you. All right. Got it up on my monitor. I'm not ignoring you. Uh, let's dive in, shall we? All right. Hi there. I saw your TikToks and I wanted to send in my recent work story. I'm currently a project assistant and I have taken over most of the project work from my boss and begun to coordinate my own projects with my own consultants. I started at $40,000 a year and they raised me to $43,000 a year. My market value according to my network is $55,000 to $75,000 a year and the cost of living is astronomical in my area so my manager and director suggested I ask for a raise. This is where I'm like, God, I wish the manager would have, you know, manager should have really fought for that for this person. But anyway, I put together a proposal, which my boss assisted in writing. Very helpful. It was five pages long and detailed my contributions to the company in my year of employment. I was only asking for $47,000, which is still below my value. Absolutely. Go super high to try and get where you actually want, right? Uh, but would allow me to afford costs of living. I emailed it to my director and received zero response for a week. And then they scheduled an incredibly last minute meeting to discuss my proposal. Then I could tell it was going to be a no when they started justifying my rate. And they compared me requesting a livable wage to wanting a Louis Vuitton bag. Really? Really? Like do someone out there do the math for me and put it in the comments. <laughs> 40000 divided by a $3,000 on average bag. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. My director complained about her financial situation and showed me her overdrawn bank statement. Gaslighting. Crazy, crazy. Oh my goodness. Ooh, narcissist alert. They told me that the numbers, the hours I billed to the clients earning them a profit of $86,000, weren't mine since I was working under my boss. They said while my collection efforts were impressive, that also counted as my boss's work. Basically, everything I had worked towards this past year wasn't even mine to claim, even though I did the work. I wonder if that was clear to her. It doesn't sound like it. I started crying at that. I couldn't calm down. It ruined the way I saw the company. And then they had the damage control meeting the next day. Same shit was said. They tried backtracking on some stuff, and my director kept talking over me. Oh, root. I had to tell her to let me speak several times. She was so loud, my consultant next to me came over to tell her to be quiet. I tried to compromise with them, letting me keep my temporary office, and they couldn't even concede on that. I told them I felt devalued and disillusioned with the company, and I spoke to my network, and market value is sixty to $75,000. And I told them it cost them more to replace me than it would to give me a raise. They said they knew which is 100% true. Some roles can cost a couple hundred thousand dollars to replace with time, blah, blah, blah. I had a talk with the vice president of the company and she basically said, get over it. Just get over it. I just feel completely devalued by the company and my boss did not have my back, <sighs> which I kind of felt from the beginning, right? Because really a manager should be that champion for that sort of discussion. I don't know the setup. I don't know the business, right? But I'm just saying that kind of took me a back up there. Now, here's the inspirational line, okay? And why I really wanted to share this with you all. The last line, it's two sentences. I contacted former employees from my company and they've referred me to their current company. I just applied and they'd be willing to pay me market value according to my former coworkers. Okay, 
Now, one thing I always coach is that power is with the talent. It doesn't feel like it sometimes, like when you're in it, right? You're in the trenches and it hurts every single day, sometimes physically, right? You're in a toxic place. You're being treated like shit, right? Uh, you're not getting the respect and dignity at a minimum that you deserve, just as literally a human being, let alone a com uh, an employee that's working for a company day in and day out. Um, so sometimes it doesn't feel as though you have power. Oh my goodness. You do. You really do. Because you always have a choice of where you go. Right? And so that last line to me is like, whoa, that is so powerful. Uh, very easy and quickly, she reached out to those former employees and bam, look. Right? So we'll cross our fingers that she gets this job and that she's able to move on to a place that actually values her. Uh, because that's the thing, is that she was committed. She was loyal, right? And then she speaks up for herself very reasonably. I mean, equity adjustments, internal equity, and then market-based adjustments, that's a, that's a normal thing to, to do as an organization if you're doing it right, right? Because you want to make sure you're retaining your talent. Um, but for them to not even listen to her, and I'm just like, if she's in an astronomical uh, area, as she puts it, and she's at 40000 I'm going to make the assumption she's, she's below market. She's done her own research. She even did uh, research with her network, right, just to pulse where her folks are. Talk about the comps, man. Talk about the comps. And any company that's telling you not to... It's maybe because they they do and they know you're well below, right? If you have a manager come up and tell you, hey, don't talk uh, about your money with your peers, you're either the highest paid, least likely, or the lowest paid person on the team, most likely, right? That's a, that, that would be a red flag for me as an HR professional uh, if, a, if a boss told me that. Oh, don't tell anybody about this, you know? Don't tell anybody what you make. Why is that? <laughs> Where am I placed amongst my peers and like in similar roles or the roles in the same job type and position? That's what I want to know, right? So ask these questions. Uh, definitely push back. But way to go uh, to, to this follower here uh, for just reaching out like that. You're always well within your power to do that. I think that's incredibly clever. I think that's a great idea. And boom, right? Maybe she is able to move on to another organization that's going to, to value her, at least in comp, right, with what the market's pulling. And so uh, my hat's off to her. But again, call to action to everybody else out there uh, that, hey, you know, if the, uh, the relationship is broken, things are to toxic, and that loyalty is waning because of that, uh, they're not respecting you, they won't even... They won't even evaluate something like this or really uh, put a plan together maybe to bring you up to a reasonable rate or be able to show you the research they've done from a market analysis perspective on wages or, you know, they don't have that sort of rhythm because they don't care or they're just trying to lowball everybody or there's no path to development or whatever the case might be. Uh, if, if you feel as though uh, you don't have a healthy relationship with your, your current organization, you always have options. And they could start as small as this one. Keep those networks ripe, keep them strong, reach out to them, and ask those sorts of questions. Where are you at? How is it working over there? Why did you leave here? If you don't already know, et cetera, right? Like get some data points there. Um, but uh, all the best to this follower. If you have a story you'd like uh, to share, especially if it's a success story or inspirational, if you have a rage apply success story for sure, uh, definitely reach out to me. You're welcome to do so uh, via email, hrmanifesto at gmail.com, or you can DM me on the IG. You can submit something on my website as well, www.thehrmanifesto.com. I look forward to hearing more of your stories and sharing them to help others. Thank you and take care.